sides of our tires. All right, now that we've gone over. This place is great. Welcome to Wilson's Wild Ride. Today we're going to talk about adding grease to your wheel bearings on your travel trailer. Um, there's a couple tools you're going to need. First is a flathead screwdriver. The second is your um, grease gun. Um, whenever, I, whenever I go anywhere and I'm st I am stop to get gas, I'll, I'll go back there while, the, while I'm fueling up. Um, I'll put my hand right there where the wheel bearing is to make sure that it's not too hot. I do that to all four of them, just to, and, and they all should feel the same. On our first trip to Texas, I noticed one of them felt a little warmer than the others, which was an alarm to me. Um, so when we got to Texas, I went ahead and I wanted to add grease to it. Now I'm going to show you exactly what I did to do that. You want to make, you want to come over here, you want to make, when you stop, you want to make sure you don't want to burn yourself, but just kind of put your hand right there and just really fast and then then hold it there to see, you know, just to make sure that you're able to hold it there and it's not too hot. Um, and I do all four tires like that. I'll check all four wheel bearings like that. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is right here on this cap. Now, this is this is a grand design um, travel trailer, and I, I, I'm assuming most of the other travel trailers are going to be pretty much fairly similar. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to look around the edge of this until you find the place where the flathead screwdriver will fit in and it just pops out just like that all right now now we have a rubber boot that's exposed the next thing you're going to do is you're going to run your finger around that boot see how that feels because the way that feels is exactly how it's got to go back that way you you're, you're sure that it seals properly then i'll take my screwdriver and i'll stick right in there and just kind of pop it out that's it just like that all right now right there in the center that is what they call a zerk fitting now then you're going to take your uh you're going to take your grease gun and you're going to stick it right in there just like that and you're going to give it a good squirt all right that did it that did it I've already I've already um, put a couple squirts in there so I don't want to put any more than just one I just I just put one in there that's all I did this time all right so now I know that we got we got plenty of grease in there I, I know that I, I don't want to put too much like I said because you don't want to you don't want to blow out your seals because then then you got nothing that's going to hold it in anymore all right then what we're going to do is we're going to put this this little rubber seal back on there and it goes just like that and we got to run it all the way around now all right and then we run our finger back around like we did to begin with remember we want to make sure that it still feels exactly the same way and it does and then we put the cap back on that's it that's all you got to do man um do, do that to all all of your tires i mean all of your wheels and uh You'll be sure to get a long life out of your out of your bearings. If you like this video, please guys uh, subscribe, give it, um, give us that thumbs up, and hit that notification bell.